the equilibrium is the price at which supply and demand are equal. To explain more, take a look at this graph. It shows the supply and demand curve for a product. The equilibrium price is 30, as at that point both supply and demand are equal. That is the only point that they are equal. At price 20, although the demand is at 5000 units, sellers are willing to supply only 2000 units, meaning there will be more demand than the supply. We call the equilibrium price the market clearing price since the supply is completely bought up and there are no buyers with no goods and there is no supply left behind. The blue box represents total revenue. Total revenue is the amount of money generated from the sale of goods. We calculate the total revenue by multiplying price and quantity. So this will be the equation TR equals P into Q. Let's do an example. In this graph, the total revenue would be at price 30 and quantity 3000. If we multiply them, the total revenue would be 90,000. What would happen if the demand curve shifted? As you guessed, the equilibrium price would shift based on the movement of the demand curve. So let's say at first, the demand curve is so that the equilibrium price is P1. Now if the demand curve shifts and then the Equilibrium price will move on to P2, that is the point where supply and demand are equal. Now the same change would happen if the supply curve shifted. Now let's look at something known as excess demand. This graph has an equilibrium price at P1. But if the sellers decide to price it at P2 instead, then there would be not enough goods for all the customers. This means that there is excess demand. Now let's say there is an excess supply. This happens when the price is set higher than the equilibrium. Let's say P3. Then there would be unsold stock left with the seller since the supply is more than the demand. Obviously, to fix excess demand or supply, sellers can change price or adjust supply. If there is excess demand, suppliers could aim to produce more by employing more resources. If there is excess supply, producers could either lower the prices or hold on to supplies and sell them on a later date. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.